More fun than movies, this is Trailer Told, a YouTube channel in the world. Thank you for clicking. Check out the playlist for a different video. Subscriptions are a big boost. Dragon's Dogma 2 is an epic action RPG that breathes fresh, fiery life into the series. New maps and biomes, seamless exploration of its mighty environment, and a gripping story. It's also a game that celebrates choice. You'll have seen our fans creating their arisen heroes, right down to the layout of their teeth. And that sense of freedom extends to your adventure. There are multiple ways to solve the same problem. No two fights are ever the same. Let's look at the different ways you can play Dragon's Dogma 2. While this is still the same game you know and adore, combat here does feel different. You can charge in for a fight or leap heroically from high places to mount lumbering monsters, but Dragon's Dogma 2 rewards lateral thinking. Enemies can be engaged from afar by making use of the powerful siege engines that litter the lands of Amund and Batal. The environment itself can be a weapon, Instead of engaging all those enemies on a bridge, you can just cut it out from underneath them and watch them fall to their doom instead. And while it might not be a considerate choice for the surrounding environment, you can even destroy dams to wash away potential foes without needing to draw your sword. Opportunities for deadly improvisation are everywhere in Dragon's Dogma 2. If you can't find a catapult, you can just fling the rocks yourself. And if you can't find rocks, well, there's always something else you can throw. The world of Dragon's Dogma 2 is larger and more dense than its predecessor. Discovering it with your hearty pawn companions is a large part of the appeal. I shall be with you every step of the way. Ox carts can help you traverse the world. But be warned, it's not always a safe way to travel. Enemies can ambush you on the road. Getting your boots on the ground also reveals multiple ways to circumvent problems. If you find your progress impeded by an impassable crevasse, for example, you have loads of options. You can use magic to levitate across, lure down a harpy and hitch a lift from its razor-sharp talons, or use the Mystic Spearhand's warp ability to effortlessly bridge the gap. And if you want to find a more ghoulish solution, why not turn the fallen body of an enemy into a makeshift bridge? The enemy AI in Dragon's Dogma 2 ensures that every encounter is different. As you'd expect from someone who turns their enemies into bridges, the creatures of Dragon's Dogma 2 will come to know and fear you. If a fight goes wrong, they might flee instead of risk being repurposed as high fantasy infrastructure. Enemies will also fight each other. One moment you're cheerfully making your way towards a quest, and the next you're in the middle of a pitched battle between rival creatures. You can choose to intervene, use the distraction to escape, or just sit back and enjoy the chaos. The monsters here function like living creatures, each with their own, often angry, motivations. And you should remember that just because an enemy ran away from you, it won't stop them coming back for revenge later when you least expect it. Finally, we have the quests themselves. While there's always a direct, heroic way to solve problems in Dragon's Dogma 2, you can make your life easier by thinking creatively. Instead of spending time and gold retrieving that precious gemstone you were asked to find, why not just pay someone to make a forgery instead? Problem solved, and you're supporting the local economy. Oh, thank you, thank you. Now my freedom is assured. And remember that appearance is everything. You can disguise yourself as another race, for example, to gain entry to restricted cities. So, you seek to enter Batal, I presume? And certain places can only be accessed if you're wearing the correct attire. Be gone! I have no hospitality to extend toward one bereft of decorum. Yeah, well, let's see how you'd look after hours of riding harpies across gaps. Rude. So there you go. It's not just about the joy of killing monsters or exploring the world, but finding inventive ways to do so. Think fondly of us when you make your first monster bridge. It is about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master?